everyone. Welcome back to another episode, episode two of Better Not Perfect. I'm Joey Dowd, creator of New Territory Fitness and a documentary filmmaker. We've got Dan Martin. Dan. Hey, how's it going? My name is Dan Martin. Um, I'm a gym studio owner. I'm a nutrition service operator. Um, I've been a coach for about 12 years now, and that's where we're at today, right now. And now video host and, and podcaster. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Thanks to my good friend and hyper-talented individual, Joey Daoud. I'm now a uh, weekly podcast host. Um, yeah, here we are. So let's talk about uh, kind of some ideas of where we see the show going. So we're kind of chatting about health topics and stuff. Uh, and anyone can jump in. Uh, we're streaming live to Facebook right now, so you can always comment with any questions, uh, and we'll see it up live. If the software is working, I can also show it on the screen. I don't know if that's going to happen, but you can always comment, and we'll read it. Um, and then we also want to get guests on the show, so we've got some uh, lineup of guests. Uh, we will announce dates in the future. Uh, but, Dan, who do we have um, lined up in the near future for guests? Man, it's a confirmed guests. Um... A lot, a lot of people from a lot of different backgrounds. Um, Rebecca Daoud may be some someone familiar to you. Uh, I met she, her a couple times. <laughs> she is a hyper talented dietitian and nutritionist who's going to come on just to kind of talk shop um, and answer everybody's questions. Um, Dr. Eric Exelbert, who's a medical cannabis expert, my great friend um, Otto von Schirach. Hyper talented musician, just got back from a long US tour, is about to go back on a European tour. We're gonna to talk to him about lifestyle and habit changes he's made to be able to keep doing stuff like that. My great friend, um, Aaron Funk, AKA Venetian Snares, who's like a super well-known experimentalist as far as music goes. And he's kind of gone through a transformation in the past few years. Um, Carolina Hertz, uh, I can't wait to talk to her. She's a mother of four. Um, she is a coach at our gyms. She wears long sleeves, long pants, a skirt, and a baseball hat every time she works out. <laughs> and she uh, is pretty amazing. Uh, shout out to her husband, too. He's all right, too. Uh, we're going to have uh, USA Chad McKay, um, Iraq war vet, also my partner in the gyms, writes my fitness programming. My friend Derek Estrada, who is also known by Basic, uh, amazing synth musician, amazing turntablist, and uh, has gone through his own transformation. Um, and then the last one, I think, no, two more, Danny Lopez, who's the founder of Soul, um, and my good friend Joe, who is also known as Acid Enema, great stage name. Um, <laughs> does amazing grind metal break core gabber. He just got done losing a bunch of weight on the plane. I want to get him on and talk to him about kind of what he went through. So it's a wide swath, everything from musicians to doctors, dietitians, people who have gone through the process. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm really, uh, really psyched about it. Really excited to be kind of going down this road. It's something that I've thought about for a long time and actually had lined the guests up for a while. And, and when you came to talk to me about it, I was like, yes. Yeah, it's right. a great outlet for it. Uh, yeah, and I feel like we both kind of have that interest because uh, we both have creative backgrounds of that 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 intersection of uh, creativity and fitness. Because I mean, at least you have more of a fitness like history and background. But for myself, it was always like, uh, yeah, there you go, showing those guns. Uh, not interested in fitness and kind of like kind of saw it as like a separate thing and didn't really realize the importance, not just for health, but just in fueling my mind. And like, uh, it kind of just all ties in together and like improving creativity uh, and improving the way I think uh, on top of all the obvious health and wellness and, and longevity benefits. Um, so yeah, with the get with our, with the, with the guest list, uh, I have a couple of guests that I haven't talked to, so they don't know they're gonna be on the show yet. So I'm not gonna name them, uh, but they also fit in that same realm of uh, filmmakers and producers um, that uh, went through health transformations or other uh, sort of health stories and kind of that yin and yang. I'm not sure if you see my smile, but I'm waiting to ask one question. What's your question? Can we There's talk to Dolph? Can we, <laughs> we talk can, to we... Dolph? 
I'm sure we could also talk to Dolphin Lover. <laughs> I'm so happy right yeah. now. I'm all crying. I can't wait. Yeah. Don't talk yeah. to him about Malcolm. Malcolm Brenner. He does have a name <laughs> besides Dolphin Lover. I mean, it's the name of the movie. You know, I can't wait. I can't wait. I want to know about his diet and exercise and mental health program. We can talk to him about that. Awesome. <laughs> all right. Uh, so real quick. Um, well, it's not really a quick test subject, but I read a blog. I thought you wrote it, but you did not write it uh, on morning routines and um, best things to do in the morning. Uh, I know reading is one of those things that usually works out pretty well. So if you want to read wrestling magazine like Dan Martin's morning routine. Um, but yeah, let's talk about morning routines. Wow. <laughs> or if you want to asphyxiate yourself in the morning. Uh, Some great athletes just. Highest of caliber, one of the best athletes. Um, what, morning have, what have you found? Yeah, with members of people, like some are just, uh, I, I feel like the best morning routine is the one that works the best for you, but what are some kind of general best, um, best Arn practices? Anderson. Best... I bet he had a morning routine. The man's man, Arn Anderson. Yeah, I think his morning routine is like bleaching his whiteies. <laughs> um, I do have a morning routine. Um, and I kind of typed about it on somebody's thread yesterday, and it kind of varies depending on where I'm at in my personal routine. If I'm not training exceptionally hard, I am now, but if I'm not training exceptionally hard, I like to hit a really early morning wake up. Um, some people will say it's crazy, and it's not for everybody. I like to hit like a 4.30 wake up just to be up before the whole household gets going. Um, and it's been about three months since I was doing this, but I was doing it for about three months. I'll wake up at 4.30 on an alarm, have coffee ready, um, keep pretty low light, and um, read and write for, for an hour. Um, first thing I do, though, even before coffee every single day is um, 20 ounces of water. Straight out of bed. It just... Some people like it with lemon and Himalayan sea salt and fancy stuff like that. I just do straight water, um, cold water. It, it wakes me up. It gets my digestive system flowing. Um, and then if I'm not doing that 430 a.m. ahead of it, if I'm training harder and I'm trying to sleep a little bit more, I won't wake up until 6.30 or 7, and that will be a natural wake up, which is what I'm doing now. Um, I just naturally wake up at that time without the sound of an alarm. And I'll, I'll, again, get water first thing. And more than anything, I just try and help out because by that time, it's 7 a.m. and my house is in full <laughs> rodeo swing mode. <laughs> then paint, I uh, paint a picture of how many, uh, who's in the household, how many, how many kids? Uh, so we have four kids. Our oldest, Kaya, is 16. Our son is going to be 10 soon, and then we have twins that are about to be five. Um, and they can go back and forth between acting like they're two and acting like they're 10, depending on the day <laughs> um, and the event. But they're, they're actually getting into, like, a, a better routine. My wife has started getting way more structured with the mornings, which actually helps me um, quite a bit. <sighs> like... This is what my morning structure looks like, right? This is what is I that, use all the time. That's is that a schedule? It's a little hard that, to read. It's a list. It's a list. Yeah, I, I, like. use, I use this like crazy. Like this is yesterday's, right? And you can see almost everything is crossed off of there because I did it. And then if I didn't do it, I moved it over to today's, and I'm crossing them off as I go. Like I can cross off podcast with Joey now <laughs> after after this it's just phone call phone call phone call phone call but anyways back to morning routine yeah there's a few things i do every single morning religiously the first thing is drink water um as soon as i wake up i feel like that's huge just to like turn your body on uh it gives lubrication to the joint you're gonna feel better your digestion's gonna start flowing um, I've had this simple thing blow people's minds, but 
it works wonders. It also helps you with hydration levels throughout the day. A lot of people have trouble getting in proper hydration in a day. And if you start by doing it first thing and get like one fifth or one sixth of your total intake out of the way, pretty good for you. Mm -hmm. Is that coffee or water? That's some, some nice, fairly strong right in the middle black coffee. Yes. Yeah. I've been drinking out of a half gallon jug of water and through about one and a half so far. So you mentioned, uh, do you say you write in the morning a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is that like uh, journaling? Is that like just getting your thoughts down to do list? Like what kind of writing? What kind of writing is that? They all end up on the blog on the website. Um, mm. and I did this thing, um, I did this thing that I've been giving away to people. Um, it's like this resource guide right now. It's like, um, eight pages or something. And it's all just links to workouts and recipes. And it's, it's robust with information. So it's all just links to blog posts. And, um, I actually started just copy pasting the blog post into a document or a document. And I was like, holy cow, I have 90 pages here like of content. So I think it's slowly, I think it's slowly becoming a book, honestly. Um, yeah. I just, I just kind of went, oh, wow. If I start expanding these a little, a little bit and adding a little more meat to some of the ideas. Um, yeah. So that's what that's slowly turning into. And you also mentioned, so you said during the week or during training time, you're kind of trying to get up around 4, 4.30, but then other days you'll get up around 6-ish. So if, six if, I'm in, if I'm in heavier training mode, like I am right now, like I'm, mm -hmm. I'm actually doing the High Rocks events, right? I'm going, to, I'm going to Dallas in two weeks. I'm going to Berlin in April. I'm training hard for that. My, my rest and recovery is a little bit more important because I'm pushing my body more, right? Mm -hmm. Like the workouts that I'm doing, um, are pretty dang difficult at this point. Uh, so I need more rest. And on those days, I, use, I don't set an alarm. I don't try and wake up and do that extra stuff because I know I'm going to need that extra rest. But uh, on, once I get, I think once I get through April and I did this last year, I'll do the same thing where I start waking up earlier once the training is kind of done, the, the world championship race has been completed. Once that's over, then I'll go back to waking up early because it'll just be less wear and tear on my system overall. I gotta, I just kind of gotta make choices, you know. Mm -hmm. I can't, I can't wake up at four thirty if I'm asking that much of my body, or Chad is putting tasks in front of me that ask that much of my body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do uh, do you find that, that that shift in the wake up times throws you off? Because I've seen different things, and and from my experience personally, like. Uh, kind of having that consistent wake up time gets my body into a routine. And if it's like I wake up really early, early on a weekday, but then say sleep in on a weekend, I just feel completely thrown off. Do you, have you, have you experienced that or are you just so tired uh, that it doesn't matter? No, like I try and make myself really not tired. I, I function very poorly when I'm tired. I, ugh, my brain doesn't do well, you know, and I, I don't understand how people can do five hours of sleep a night or whatever. I just can't do it. Um, I think again, it's also because I'm, I'm burning up a bunch of calories doing a bunch of, uh, intense activity throughout the day. But I think, uh, there's, it's just a, it's just a switch. It's almost like daylight savings, right? Like for this, for this three months, I'm going to let myself sleep until six 30 or seven. And then for this three months, the alarm's just going to hit. And listen, waking up at four 30 is never like, woo, here we go. Oh, yay. Every single day of waking up at 430 is like, oh, but when it's about the bigger picture, uh, you know, I, spending time with my kids is important and spending time with my wife is important and spending time with friends is important. And in order to make that happen, I kind of got to <laughs> make some sacrifices and I'm, I'm okay with that. And like the, the payoff is worth it. You know, it's not like, if I'm waking up at 4.30, I'm not lasting past 9 o'clock, 9.15. My wife yeah. will make fun of me so much, you know. She's like, you <laughs> such a grandpa. And I'm like, well, <laughs> you know, yeah. If I, 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 I complete these checklists, I got to get up before 
before the World Wrestling Federation comes to my house in the form of three boys that just, you know, <laughs> you can see the trampoline back there. You know, you can see the pool back there. That's not enough. That's like, we need a full ring. I, I believe that they get the <laughs> boxing ring in the back. Uh, yeah, I was listening to an interview with, um, with, um, uh, Bob Iger, the CEO of Disney, and, uh, he's known for getting up at 4.30 every day. Uh, and I knew he worked out, but then he said his specific workout was, um, uh, he hops on a, um, what's it called? The Vera, the Vera Climber, the, is it the Vera Versa Climber? Climber? The Versa Climber. Um, he's like, oh, I get on the Versa Climber for 45 to 60 minutes, like within 15 minutes of waking up. Uh, which I can't imagine going on that thing within 15 minutes of waking up. But, uh, and he said he's been doing it since the 90s. So, I mean, that's just an amazing, it's more just people, an amazing testament to routine. People swear by it. Like, I'm, I've never been a 6 a.m. or I can work out at 6 a.m. And I, I feel good after I do it. But I just, my body likes working out in the middle of the day way more. Mm-hmm. So, I don't wake up and start working out. I'm not one of those dudes. I wake up and I sit in my pajama pants and sip co- sip coffee and, <laughs> and enjoy reading with my feet up and sitting on a nice cozy chair and typing. Um, yeah, yeah. Four thirty versa climber. I, I tried that. I tried that. I had an airdyne or sorry, an aerosol in my garage. And I, I can't remember why. I was just like, I'm going to start riding the airdyne for twenty minutes first thing every morning. The middle, the middle of the first, the middle of the first day. I'm like. Uh, time to go to the bathroom and like you know it's just like <laughs> I don't feel good I have a headache uh, not for me man not for me uh, alright so speaking of uh, Versa Climbers and air, air Bikes uh, what what is the importance of exercise great question mm-hmm. um, in relation to life quality as a whole I mean I would list it in my top five sleep nutrition mindset hydration exercise you can kind of mix those up as you see fit for quality of life um but it's important like you need movement in your life you need to be doing something the human body was not made to be sedentary you can lose a ton of weight just by eating the right way but to live a full long complete life you're going to need to move and you're going to need to find something that you like doing um doesn't matter what it is really like as long as you can do it with some relatively moderate intensity good to go like re- remember that lady from hollywood that did prancer size yeah totally yeah <laughs> are you is that, a, is that a prancer <laughs> size on your thing <laughs> I'd like to announce I was officially affiliated with the Prancercise program. I feel like I always got a little confused between Prancercise and Jazzercise, but they are two different things, right? Prancercise was literally just her going through parks, like (laughs) like she was on a horse. Go look it up again, man. You'll love it. Um, Where were we? How did we get off of the Prancercise? Importance of movement and exercise. Yeah, it doesn't matter what it is. Like, listen, I own CrossFit gyms. I think CrossFit is great. Lately, I've been doing training specifically for high rocks. It's a little bit different. There's no Olympic weightlifting. There's no kipping. You know, mm-hmm. that's great for me right now. Some people like doing other group fitness class models. That's okay, I guess. Some of that stuff, I'm like, mm. when you drive by and you see people like, mm. breaking stuff yeah so we went black for a sec i was trying to load prancer size up (laughs) to make this uh you know real dynamic broadcast i'm i'm sure we'll figure it out one of these days (laughs) anyways point being if you're doing something you're good i have people that walk i have people that do zumba i have people that do crossfit i have people that power lift i have people that do everything you can think of people that just ride their bike to work but it's got to be something right whether it's mm-hmm. your official labor day job, whether it's you know the most intense conditioning program ever, fine. You, but yeah, you you got to do something. Exercise is important. Nutrition, I would say, is higher. Exercise after mm-hmm. that, close race with sleep. 
hydration and mindset right in there as well. I mean, I feel like in some cases, depending on how much sleep a person gets, you could even rank that higher than, uh, than exercise. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, sleep, sleep could debatably be the number one thing that would stop mm-hmm. people from like really getting results that they want. It's just the, the, the importance of recovery can't be understated. Oh, dang it. Yeah. A lot of magic happens during, uh, sleep time and proper sleep time but it's kind of i feel like it's a double-edged sword because sometimes if i get too much sleep like nine hours i feel way out of it like the whole day i feel just like i, I never have that i never have that has never been a thing for me i've heard of it but it's like <laughs> <laughs> you, you maybe you, after i have four kids uh, then I, i'll also will not know what too much sleep <laughs> means <laughs> When I get seven and a half hours now, I'm like, ah, oh, I feel like I'm floating on clouds. Like you say the Yeti is real and you say that you've seen it and I believe you because you kind of have some blurry, blurry seen footage. This, but, uh, seen this, this Yeti. <laughs> no, I mean the abominable snowman. You say he's real, fine. <laughs> never seen him. Uh, and did we talk about this? Well, we said any type of exercise. Is there a best exercise? No, sorry. No, we no, can debate that. I mean, there is. But we need a clickbait a- title for this video to say the best, the one best exercise ever that will solve all your problems. All right. Yes. If you're not doing this one thing. If you're not doing this <laughs> one weird thing, you're never going to get results. Are you ready for the secret, Joey? Are you ready for it? What Are you ready? Secret? Are you ready? <laughs> Click the link and go to my webinar to find out. <laughs> <laughs> the secret is the secret is pick one that you like and stick with it and if things change over time pick another one that you like and stick with it the longer you stick with it probably the better you're gonna do that's the secret that's it find something that you're passionate about and enjoy it it's not very sexy or clickable <laughs> All right, so what you're going to need to do is uh, you're going to need to do Olympic lifting three times a day the first week, two times a day the second week, one time a day the third week. Then we're going to reverse that. Got to okay? that period I schedule. We're going to run a linear progression waving <laughs> underneath it. Okay. At the same time, we're going to do a heavy interval protocol based on the decathlon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. No, man. There's no best program. Fight me. Fight me. There's no best program. I swear. I swear to you, there's not. I mean, maybe like whatever program Randy was on could have been. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. For the total package, have you seen him lately? He is a withered. You know what? I'm man. more curious. How many vintage wrestling magazines uh, do you have? Well, that's just none of your business. I don't want you coming to my house. <laughs> Man, my, friend, my friend Lewis and somebody else gave me a bunch of them. He's like, I found these at a at a used clothes store, like a Goodwill or whatever. And he's like, I, I they were like a buck, and I couldn't pass them up. They're in such great condition. I love them so much. <laughs> nice. All right, uh, I think that's a good spot. Anything else uh, you want to mention real quick before we log off this time? Uh, I do believe our first guest, as long as we can sort out the tech, and if we can't, I'm picking our first guest as a local so that we can go to him if we need to. Our first guest is going to be Mr. Otto Von Schirach, the Miami original. Uh, mm-hmm. We'll sit down and we'll talk with him about his routine, his health, his upcoming tour, um, supporting some pretty major uh, metal bands all throughout Europe. We'll talk to him about how he deals with touring and the stresses and stays healthy and his fitness routine. He's a jujitsu junkie. Um, so we're going to dig in on that stuff. Yeah, man. Well, and I'm sure we'll nice. get some of his unique flavor as we, uh, <laughs> as we walk through the interview. Awesome. That'll be fun. Uh, yeah. Right now you can find out about that either uh, follow new territory fitness or the Dan plan free, right? That is the group, the Dan plan free. Yep. That is uh, we'll have the info there uh, until we get a more unified thing for this show. 
All right, everyone. Stay well. We'll see you next week. Uh, if you have any questions and stuff, you can always comment on this video, and we'll get back to it in the next episode. All right. Have an awesome week, everyone. Just going to go back to reading my big Van Vader 1993 interview.